This video is brought to you by Panini. Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. My name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and I am up to prepare myself for the 24 hours challenge. Just in March this year, I said in the YIC podcast, that I want to do this challenge this year. Suddenly it is winter and I have to do it. But there is a big coincidence because I got an email from Panini. They want to make some advertisement for the Jurassic Park trading cards and have a small budget that is just enough for one day of painting and two days of editing. So I thought maybe I put these two things together and I try to paint the best graffiti possible within 24 hours based on um, the trading cards from Panini. My Jurassic Park collector's album is nearly full. There are just some of them missing. And now I can use these cards as inspiration to paint an epic Jurassic Park Dinosaurs Graffiti Wall in just 24 hours. And when I think that I've done this insane Raptor in less than five hours and I did this full wall with insane details together with Banner in three and a half days, I think then I will be probably be able to paint something in between this high detail artwork and this low detail quick dinosaur. But what I'm the most afraid of is just the cold weather. Okay, let's drive to Belgium because this is probably the only the only space uh, where I can paint during this weather conditions right now. The weather forecast says it should become minus 4 degrees Celsius during the night and a mix of fog, snow and maybe ice rain is awaiting us this night. So I need to paint somewhere indoors and it is really good to have the keys of an abandoned factory for projects like this. Nick Moody is doing a 24 hour challenge as well, so I won't be so alone. Hello! Hello! Hello, Mr. Nicky! Moodman McNicky! <laughs> Those who follow my channel should already know my friend Nick from projects like the Art on Train Festival, the Upside Down Challenge, the Painting in Rain Challenge, or many other videos together. And I'm happy Nick will do the 24 hours challenge at the same time. Mm. Yeah, I will just bring the last material in there. Do you know where the big card is? No. It's gone. It's gone. I don't know where it is. There's a few other things gone in here as well, so I think somebody might have taken some stuff. Because of metal? Yeah, metal thieves and other potential visitors at night were also the reason why I've chosen this room for this project. Because in summer, Nick and me have built a door in this room. Mainly to have one seamless wall in the main hall. But if I change the locking mechanism, I can lock me in in the room behind the door and I'm safe from anyone visiting me tonight. At the end just for the good feeling. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, um, it is two o'clock right now. Okay, already quarter past 2 p.m. Um, the time is already running. The first thing that I want to do now, now as I feel safe in here, stretch the canvas. And just one and a half hours later, the whole canvas was coated with a nice light brown and really very well stretched. Boom, boom. Okay, let's go upstairs to Moot Man McNickey. Just to have a look what he was able to do in the meantime. How's it going? Good! Oh! 
That's all you managed to do? Shut up. I made the whole canvas. And I cleaned up the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> But as I got the feeling that I'm really good in time, I thought I help Nick a little bit building his wood tiles construction while the sun over Belgium was slowly going down. Okay, friends and followers. Now, look how much light this construction site light makes. <laughs> Is this is full power, half power. Half power is way then, way more than enough. Okay, everything is set for the long painting night. We had a coffee together, I explained Nick my concept with the panini cards and I was finally able to start painting. Good luck. Now it really starts to become spooky in here. My plan was to freestyle a graffiti piece, let things flow and see how it turns out. I arranged the dinosaur motifs from the trading cards around it. But sometimes it happens that freestyles just do not turn out like expected. Okay, maybe it's not my time. Maybe it's not the light situation I usually work in. It is 20 minutes past five. So I'm already three hours and 20 minutes in. And I think that I will erase what I've done over there. I'm not happy with it. It does not look, it does not look good. So let's erase it, let's erase it. We still got the whole night in front of us. Um, the proportions are just off, I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay, friends and followers, that was a good decision. It was a good decision to erase everything because I've painted probably the most flowish, simple style I have ever made. I will lead you through the letters real quick. Okay, on the left side, we start with the S over here, with a chip and a lid on top and another chip at the bottom, just as extra elements. A super easy M with such a super long extra bar. The O is very close to the M and the right leg of M is going through the O to make it more interesting. And to balance the extra bar of M, the O has such a super long extra bar as well. E is very similar to S, round and flowish, with two chips and a lid. And to add some weight at the top, there is this extra bar with a chip and the lid. Done. It doesn't need anything more. Um, now, uh, because I know that a lot of people out there want to see some dinosaurs right now, the first dinosaur that I want to sketch is the green one. Maybe this one. So cool. From card number 73, I want to paint this super aggressive T-Rex. Hmm. Oh, should we 
do blue on the other side. So sad that this blue is watching to the wrong side. I need a, a dinosaur. Oh, the Megalodon. Megalodon. Or these two. Mm. Well, that means. Take a photo of them. Like this. <laughs> this is so aggressive. I love it. This looks very, very, very good. Um, now, as we got the two Velociraptors and the T Rex, let's see what else can we paint. Especially what sort of background. I'm searching for a background. Could do something like this. Maybe this. This is nice. Aerospheres experienced the dinos up close. This is a nice... Oh no, I don't got any blue with me. Is it right? I don't got any blue with me. Okay, but we can do this background in gray. Okay, it is like it is. We need to work with what we have. Okay, friends and followers, outlines are done as well. I'm really tired. It is 20 minutes past midnight. And my friend Nick invited me to have a coffee. So I will follow this invitation and go upstairs to see what some extra energy can do. Holy moly, it was really scary to walk through the factory alone in the middle of the night. And I really tried to be cool, but for some reason I was expecting to see someone behind every corner. 
Pookie. But as I had so cold feet, I decided to go a longer route uh, to Nick just to warm up my feet while walking. It was so scary. Hey, Mr. Nikkei. How are you? Brilliant. You're tired? Yes. Of course I was ah. tired, but Nick really made us a strong coffee that gave me some extra power, but also caused that my stomach started a revolution against me and I had to leave real quick and I even lost more time that is not caught on camera and I was pretty happy to be back in my room. And I have to admit that I did not expect to lose so much time by eating, drinking tea, warming up feet, changing batteries that died, um, the whole setup, painting in the cold uh, during the night just took so much extra energy and so much extra effort that this is by far the most inefficient painting <laughs> that I ever made in my whole life. It's already 3 o'clock in the morning and I start with the two raptors. Raptors. It sounds so weird to my brain. It was funny that I had uh, several of these moments where I was just standing there and thinking about the weirdest stuff and I was not sure if the word raptor exists or not. Okay. It's five o'clock in the morning. Um, my back hurts. My fingers are frozen. Somehow. I even got, I got this uh, heating pads. They are usually for the shoes but I've put them in my gloves to heat up my fingers a little bit. They help a little bit, I would say, but not that super much. Um, spray cans are extremely cold. Um, they all start losing their functionality. It is around minus five degrees in here, I would say, uh, right now. I mean, it is an experience make a 24 hours painting challenge but I'm not I'm not that convinced that my art is getting better when I do such a challenge but I'm looking forward to go to bed and yeah, my brain is just not working properly anymore okay let's do the background and everything I did felt so hard, took so long. My whole body was screaming, take a rest now. But I did the highlights. I also um, took the time to add the shadows to the blocks. I did, um, I really tried to finish this thing in the best way possible. But my whole body was really screaming, go to bed now. I was cold, I was <laughs> tired. I really I felt sick. I felt really sick. So at a quarter past seven, the time has come. I mean, my brain just doesn't work anymore. It is just not possible. I'm cold. I don't feel good anymore. Not at all. I need sleep. I usually don't give up. I hate giving up. I really don't like it. 
but uh, now, now I give up. I will call my wife so that she will come here. I will have a take, take, a, take a nap and I will finish this one tomorrow. And when you want to know what happened to Nick, I don't want the spoiler too much, but he definitely was very confused. <laughs> and it is the next day. No, it's three days later. It is even colder than before. It is even more snow than before. But I took a really nice rest. I really feel like uh, I got some new energy. And now let's have a look. Okay, it's all fine. Perfect. Do you see this? I don't know if it is visible on camera, but there is snow on top of the um, windows. So we don't got as much light in here as expected. I hope that I'm so hot <laughs> that it will melt and uh, slowly drip down. This would be nice, but I don't think so. Uh, why, why you can't do this challenge in winter? It's so stupid. Okay, um, let's sort the cans and immediately start making this sort of muddy artwork a real fresh one. I want to have it more fresh. It is not fresh enough. It just it just has not enough freshness. And when I when I made this red part here, this was the last thing that I did. And uh, this was the moment when I noticed I have to stop now because the whole background on the on the floor is it is useless. It looks shitty. It looks sloppy. It's not good. The red does not fit at all, I, but, my, but my brain was not working anymore. Um, but now I made some uh, changes digitally on my iPad Pro. And now I know what I will have to change to make this real fresh. Let's start. Okay, I might have been giving up the 24 hours challenge, but I did not give up this artwork. I could have finished the challenge with an ugly result, but instead I decided to take another 10 extra hours to create an artwork that makes me happy. Somehow I needed this reminder to myself that the reason why I paint has never been the process, it has always been the result. And if the circumstances don't make it possible to make a good result, yeah, I need to change them. That learning was really intense. Of course, I'm not a magician, but at the end I did all I could do to make this muddy something as shiny and fresh as possible. Okay, friends and followers. I think I'm done, finally. Um, I know that you want to see the final result. I will let this get dry until tomorrow. I will come back and then I will show you the final result. See you tomorrow. Yo, friends and followers, two things real quick. If you are collecting the 30th anniversary Jurassic Park cards as well and you need someone for trading, <laughs> I got a lot of them two and three times, but these ones are still missing. If you got these in your collection, please write me a comment and we can trade. Um, and the second thing is exclusively for my audience from Germany and Austria. I got a special link for you to the online shop from Panini. Uh, if you want to start collecting or if you just uh, need some more cards, stickers and stuff, they have a lot of cool stuff in their online shop. <laughs> we should do a video about this as well. Don't you think this is a good idea? Maybe with more time? <laughs> this would be nice. Okay, thanks a lot Panini for sponsoring this video and now I will show you the final result. Hey, now I'm curious to see how it will look like at daylight.
Yeah, and I completely forgot. Uh, as this is a canvas, and uh, I still don't know what will happen with the canvas. Please uh, follow me and Panini on Instagram because I will give you further information about what will happen with this canvas. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. Okay, friends and followers. I hope you are a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this with graffiti and stuff. A big thanks to the sponsor of this video, Pani. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next project.